This is my water box 220.6, all ready to go. I'm Fear, and this is Fear the Reefer. Welcome back to Fear the Reefer. Very exciting episode this time around. We're getting water in the tank. Very important final last step of the whole build. After weeks of planning, gear shopping, installation, cable management, aquascaping, it's finally time to get water in the tank and I couldn't be more excited. Once we finally get water in it, then we can start the cycle. I don't think it's gonna be that long of a cycle if really I get much of any of a cycle because I'm just migrating one tank into this one. I'm gonna be bringing in about 60 pounds of live rock that's been fully used and lived in for about three years. I'm also using live bacteria sand, so that'll also give me a jump start. And I'm gonna use Dr. Tim's one and only to really bulletproof the whole thing. I am gonna let it just kind of sit for a week or so. I'm gonna have the skimmer just draining down into the sump again, uh, just to get that kind of coated with a bacterial film. And then I'm gonna start swapping over the livestock. I only have the ability to make about 100 gallons and store 100 gallons on site. So I'm gonna, this is gonna take quite a while to actually fill it up. I'm gonna put what I have in there now, and then I just have to make more and put in more. So in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll put in the first 40 gallons or so, get a couple inches of water in there, and then I'm gonna put in my sand bed. And that'll let the sand bed settle and it'll only come up a couple inches. So instead of having sand sediment all over the glass everywhere, I'll only have them lower a couple inches. Without further ado, let's start filling up the tank. Definitely gotta make sure you catch these guys when you open a new bag of sand. If you wanna bury this under all your sand, that wouldn't be good. This is the sand I'm using, Carib Sea or Rag Alive. Going with the Fiji pink grade. I like that it's nice and small. Fine particles, which is great for rouses that are gonna bury into the sand. Sand stars, snails, all that stuff. What I have found though in the past is that Fiji pink is a little too fine to have around the edges of the aquarium where you'll get spill off from powerheads. So I like to put a slightly thicker grade sand around, along the edges of the aquarium so you don't wind up having these bare spots because the Fiji pink got disturbed. So I'm just using the next grade up, which is reef sand uh, for the perimeter uh, of the front of the tank and the edges so that I always have sand on the bottom of the tank. So that's 120 pounds of sand. I think I need more. gallons in a long way to go I'm out of water gotta make more here we go so the problem here is that since I'm adding in more sand after I put in too much water I completely undid my plan from the beginning which is to only put in sand when there was just about an inch or two of water so it all just went out the window uh, I got some dust sediment kind of all over the glass and you just need to use a very soft sponge to gently wipe it off or use a turkey baster to baste it off so you don't scratch the glass. enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos just like this and follow me on the whole build of the water box 220.6